Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? So I have a revelation coming from Holy Spirit. This revelation is coming from Micah chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. And it's entitled Social Evils. Okay, so this is going to be a scripture of someone who is just evil on a day-to-day -day basis. This is just something that they do. This is just something that they engage in. Okay. Woe to those who plan inequity and work out evil on their couches. In the mor in the morning they light the in the morning light they accomplish it when it lies within their power. They covet fields and seize them, houses and they take them. They cheat the an owner of his house, a man of his his inheritance. Therefore, thus says the Lord. Behold, I am planning against this race an evil from which you shall not withdraw your necks, nor shall you walk with you, nor shall you walk with head high, for it will be a time of evil. So the revelation that the father gave me is this message is for someone who wakes up every day early in the morning plotting and scheming evil against a child of God. This is someone who looked at you and the promises God has over your life and they want it for themselves. And every day, every morning, they plot and scheme on how to take these promises from you. The field represents your world, the good seeds in which you have sowed, your harvest in which it will come. This person wants your home and they want your in, they want your inheritance and they want your world. They want everything that is going to come from the good seeds that you have sown. Okay? The father gave me the number 115 and it is attached to a setting aside, an annulment. What is rendered no longer in effect, no longer having a place to put away the scripture that is attached to is Matthew 1 and 13 and this is the genealogy of Jesus Christ so the father is saying this is someone that he is about to set aside this is someone everything that they have been doing he is about to render it no longer in effect, no longer having a place in your life. The father says he is about to put this person away. To annul something means that from the beginning, it was never recognized. Okay, so this is what the father is saying he is about to do. For, so whoever it is is waking up every morning, plotting planning and scheming on a way to take what it is that God's that God has for you in your life. The father says this is something that he 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 hasn't recognized from the beginning. And he is about to make it clear. He is about to put this person away. He is about to set this person aside. And everything that they were doing is no longer going to be in effect. It is no longer going to be taking place. The second thing that's attached to the number 115 is Second Chronicles 11 and 9. And the chapter 11 of Second Chronicles is, the highlights is Jeroboam promoting adultery. Him removing, Jeroboam removing Levites from their service, building multiple cities of defense and abandoning the way of God. Jeroboam name means he opposes the people of God. To oppose means to disapprove and to p compete against. So this is someone who opposes the people of God. This is someone who disapproves of what it is that the father is having you to do or disapproves that the father chose you. However, this is someone who is in competition with what the father has for you they are in competition with what the father has told you to do 
this is someone who is just in competition with you, but at the same time, trying to take what it is that the Father has in store for you. Okay, um, and this is, uh, just, an, this is the second time that the Father has said today that he has evil plotted up against them, okay? This is the second time that the Father has said today that he has, ha that he has evil plotted up against them using two different scriptures so i don't know if this is for the same person and it's connected to the last word or if this is for a different uh person with the same punishment okay but the father is saying he has an evil plan for you 555 the father says he is about to show you his hand if you want to play if you want to compete he's about to show you his hand okay he's about to show you who the winning team is okay this is someone who um, wakes up early in the morning to plot and plan and scheme against you. This is someone who wants your world. They want your good seed. They want your home. They want your inheritance. And the father is saying he's about to put this person away. He's about to set this person aside. He is about to annul this situation. So even again, I don't know if this is your person and the father is saying he is about to annul this and make it as if, you know, it. It was never in existence or if this is a person who is just coming up against you and the father is saying he's about to put this person away however take the message back to the father okay but the father is saying whoever this is who is in competition with him when it comes to you trying to take what it is that he has for you and everything that you've worked for the father says he is about to set this person aside he's a and put this person away they are no longer going to be what they have been doing is no longer going to be in effect it is no longer going to have per place and again this is attached to matthew 1 and 13 and this because you are someone who belongs um to jesus christ you are a part of his genea genealogy okay and this is why the father is about to set this person aside to put this person away to annul whatever it is that they had going on it is no longer going to be of effect or have a place when it comes to you and your life thus says the lord okay again don't bite the hand that creates you peace